In Wyala, we do an integrated program rather than blocked programs. So each week we'll do a bit of GP, sometimes we'll do a bit of obstetrics and gynecology clinic, sometimes we'll do some hospital work either in ED or in inpatients, or we'll do some anaesthetics or stuff like that. So it's quite varied. So I think the nicest thing for me is that it's been a real mixed bag. So it's quite integrated. You might have a couple of weeks of GP, but you could also have a week where you're in the emergency department on a Monday, you might see the peds clinic on a Tuesday, and then you might also do a bit of obs and gyne, like you're really seeing quite a nice variety of stuff. So basically our day starts at about nine o'clock and the students arrive by then, and we have a quick discussion. We actually look at the appointments for the day and we see which patients would be suitable for them to see, and lots of patients are amenable and acceptable to having students have a chat to them. Before the student sees the patient, we will look at the patient's notes and see what might be the problem if it's a review appointment or anything like that. And then the student would introduce themselves to the patient and take them to the room, which I'd observe, and they would then conduct a formal clinical interview with them. They'll record their findings and document that, and that will be in parallel consultation with me. After they're finished, they would call me and they'll present the case to me, and then have a discussion of the management plan, which I would initiate. We all love living in Wyala, I think particularly being so close to the beach. Our favourite part of the day is driving, seeing the beach and then coming to our arcs tutorials and seeing how nice and blue it is, so it's a really nice place to live. Yeah, living in Wyala actually has been great because it's so much fun living with all the other girls in the same house. We do lots of cooking together and it's just great um, community sort of vibes because we've got the fourth years, we've got the sixth years, so we always like to do like big cooking dinner nights and then we like go on walks together and it's been really nice. The best thing about being rural is definitely the variety. I get really bored doing the same thing and I don't know how people can just do clinics every day. I like that you can kind of choose your own adventure. If you want to do a procedural list, you can. If you want to do a subspecialty, you want to work as a locum in the rural hospitals, you can. Um, there's just so many options and I probably don't even know half of them still. General practice is more exciting in the more rural and regional areas. Yeah, you get to do more. Yeah, here you face with challenges, and you, you know, it makes you, you know, feel confident in yourself at the end of, of the day, and feel a bit, you know, fulfilled. Some of the opportunities that students engage in is definitely sports. Um, netball is a big part of rural life. It's a good stepping stone to build community, build friendships there. Another part is definitely getting involved in fishing, which is a big part of Wyala as well. Being down at the jetty is just a beautiful like, area of Wyala and students quite enjoy just the nature. And also you can see the dolphins there and sometimes the seals come and visit. So it's a really unique opportunity for students to experience this kind of life, which they wouldn't get in the city. Oh yeah, so our number one, which I think everyone will say is our social netball. And I know a few of the girls play professional netball and we've made a social netball team. We've definitely made ourselves known at all the cafes. <laughs> so, and we've gone running a little bit with the Harriers running and yeah, so some really good community stuff. So here in the Wyler Learning Centre, we have our VC room, which is mainly used for student tutorials, usually happening two days a week. We also have a student room where students can go there any time of the day um, to do their studies. In our simulation room, students receive hands-on experience to practice simulations with academic clinicians, as well as program coordinators. I definitely would. I think it's one of the great rural sites because it is that tiny bit bigger so the hospital's like really nice and busy and there's lots of opportunities to do all sorts of different specialties and then the GP practices you get like that parallel consulting like you do with lots of the other rural sites as well. 
but I think one of the benefits of Wow is its location as well in that there is such a nice coastline along the Eyre Peninsula and so we've had lots of great opportunities to like go camping and exploring down to like Tumby Bay and Port Lincoln and stuff as well so it's been a good year so far. <laughs> Yeah, I would definitely recommend coming to Wyala. The community has been fabulous. There's so much to get involved with, so many sporting clubs and social activities. We've been to cocktail nights and black tie nights and the beaches here are beautiful as well. It's just, it's a really great place to be. I would absolutely recommend it. ARCs are fantastic. They're really, really supportive. You actually have tutorials. You know when those tutorials are gonna be and you have pre-reading for them and you know that if you do that pre-reading, you're not gonna look like a complete idiot. And that's really fantastic and knowing that you will cover all the content. Oh, hugely. Yeah, definitely. Initially, there was like so much imposter syndrome and I think lots of people experience that with placement and medicine. But just being able to be, you know, you and the doctor, it means that you're able to feel comfortable a lot quicker and therefore do more. And I guess just build that confidence and realise that we actually are, you know, meant to be here and there's so much to learn. So yeah, clinical confidence has skyrocketed this year. At Nanyara, the Aboriginal Health Clinic, there have been some incredibly experienced doctors there who have sort of been working for decades and decades and they love sharing their wisdom with us, which is great. Yeah, they've been phenomenal. Aboriginal health is very interesting, very complex, and it is not easy. But if you want a challenge, this is the place to be. <laughs> Interact, really. Get in there, don't be shame. <laughs> just talk, talk to anybody, um, help what, what you can. I would say just have a really open mind and don't have set expectations of what Aboriginal people are like because I'm Aboriginal and so is Terence. So, but our worlds are vastly different, you know, and our backgrounds. So the diversity within the Aboriginal community is massive. So having set expectations and putting people in boxes is never going to work. Oh, that's really hard. There have actually been some really good times. I think placement-wise, ONG has definitely been like a major highlight. Going in not really expecting to like it at all, to be honest, and having such an amazing time and learning so much so quickly. I was only there for a week and a half and I got to catch a baby. And then actually, this is a great story. So I spent like 13 hours with this couple. It was their first baby. I caught the baby and like then we were talking about what they were going to name the baby and all this sort of stuff. And then I, I was in GP six months later. The mum and the baby were there for his six months vaccinations and like I got to see him and that was really cool. I really surprised myself. I absolutely adored getting to go into ED. I was terrified, <laughs> truly, truly terrified. But I think anywhere I've been in Wyala, the teams have been so welcoming and they give you a huge amount of autonomy. So you're actually able to go in there and see and work up a patient all by yourself. You're not time pressured. They let you sort of really reason out like your management decisions um, and basically sort of really do everything from A to Z, which is fantastic. I've never had an opportunity like that. I think what jumps to mind has been my anaesthetics rotations. I didn't think I'd enjoy it as much as I did, but the anaesthetists that come are excellent. They provide such great learning opportunities and I have been able to get so involved, like, you know, even drawing up the medications, being able to help give the medications and yeah, almost like run my own little case with their supervision, which has been outstanding experience. And I don't think I would have been able to do that in the city as the teams are so much bigger. We welcome people and yeah, we would dearly like them to come back. <laughs> Go rural, that's good. <laughs>